Hey, what's up guys? Dave Palmer here. Welcome to This Trick is Sick this week. Hey guys, uh, back to our uh, LS Series engine build this week. Uh, kind of, like I said last week, getting excited. The engine's starting to look great. Everything's starting to look good. Um, now we're going to do some modifications in order to help your engine survive a lot longer. So uh, before I explain all that, I want to thank Kevin Blumenthal there in Oklahoma City. Uh, Cheetah Race Engine Development, Pete's Machine Shop, JNH Tire, MMA Max, Brian Foster over there, Amco Boys, and all my subscribers. So we got that out of the way. Um, guys, I, you must, must, must take my advice here because this is going to save you three to six hundred dollars. So um, you do not have to go with your stock rocker configura configuration. <clears throat> Get it out of my mouth. <clears throat> the deal is, is that the stock configuration uh, has a weakness, and the deal is, is that the little needle bearings. Uh, let me grab a, uh, let me grab a rocker. Your little, your little needle bearings that are inside here, uh, after they get wore out or at high RPMs, they have a tendency to come out. And then all those little bearings and shavings go inside your motor and will destroy it. So everybody highly recommends, you know, going with an aftermarket rocker. But there is a thing called a trunnion kit. Um, the one that we're going to use is, is uh, from Brian Tooley Racing. Uh, he's not sponsoring this channel, but I highly recommend this kit. I've used it three or four times. It seems to be a phenomenal kit, and it's cheaper than a lot of the other guys, but it doesn't substitute cheapness for quality. So you're looking at $100, $150 for this, and what it is, it's brand new guts to put inside your rockers here called a trunnion kit. And this trunnion kit will upgrade this to where this thing is going to be every bit pretty much as good as any roll of rockers. So that's going to, instead of buying you a $400, $600, $800 set of uh roll rockers for an LS engine, please consider just doing a trunnion kit. And that's what this episode is going to be about. Uh, we're going to get these rockers on here. We're going to show you what's in this Brian Tooley racing kit. We're going to show you how to take these out, install them. All this is, it's a little bit of time consuming, but an hour, hour and a half, you'll have it done and you'll be all upgraded and you just saved you several hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So, um, also, um, you need to, just a reminder, the little holders that hold your rockers here, these little, uh, these little rails right here, uh, these are a nightmare to find. You damn near have to go to GM Performance to get a set or to a salvage yard. So whenever you take this in to have machine work done, please, please make sure that you take these off and put these up. There's one for each head. You would be shocked at how a lot of machine guys will uh, they'll keep these. They won't even return them to you, and I, I don't understand what they're thinking. You've got you've got to put this stuff back on in order to mount your rockers. So I don't know, kind of crazy stuff. But the deal is, you need to make sure um, that you hang on to these before you do the machine work, or you're going to run into an issue trying to hunt and set down. So there's one for each head. It's what holds your rockers. And uh, I want to show you how easy this training kit is. I'm serious. I think you guys will be shocked. This will save you a bunch of money. You'll be able to rev it to the moon. Um, we're going to pull about 75 to 8,000 RPMs to shift. You know, so um, that's where we're going to sh our shift points are going to be. So, um, and it'll handle that with no problem. Um, I've even got this set on my LS2 Chevelle. I've got a thousand shot of nitrous on it, on a 6L. And, uh... These work just fine. So uh, let me show you guys uh, how to put these on, how to put these in, and then we're going to mount them to the heads and get that part done. So uh, just stay tuned, keep an eye out, and watch these little tips and tricks. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I'm all laid out here. Got uh, got you guys all rigged up. This this uh, this Brian Tooley racing kit uh, is basically going to come with. You're going to get your little roller bearings here. 
you're going to get your swivel point right here for the center of your rocker and they're actually going to throw in some nice uh uh chromoly uh um forged uh um, bolts to bolt everything down and then you got your retainer clips it's also going to come with uh, a couple of uh, it looks like washers but this is actually installation tools and the only tools that you're really going to need you're going to need uh, this for your washers uh, to get a washer on each side here of this uh, I'll put that back right there I like to keep everything clean and organized and then this is to press this out so we're going to show you how easy it is to press these out I've already got one pressed out and all you need right here is a uh, 22 millimeter socket shallow and you need a 9 16 deep so or you can go with a half inch whichever one will fit in the middle so uh, and you will need to use that on the vise here so uh, all I do is use a vise. So let me show you how to press the middle out of these because that's the first thing that you're going to do. And uh, now here's your stock. This is your stock bolts. This is your stock rockers. And like I said, here's your kit. So your kit comes with some pretty nice stuff. And then you got your directions here, which I've done these before. They're all pretty much the same. So, uh, but I'm going to, uh, let me, let me show you how we do it. And, uh, and it goes pretty quick. So, okay. All you, all you need is a basic vise here. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick your shallow socket on one side, make sure that it's, you know, that it doesn't block anything. Cause you're going to press this out and then you're going to stick your other socket on the other side. And this is pretty, pretty easy. You'll see. And uh, like I said, most of this is just going to be time consuming. So uh, nothing's going to be really that hard about it, um, but just just time consuming, basically. So what you want to do is you want to kind of get those lined up and you'll just kind of get it started there like that. And then what I do is nice and easy with my vise. And it's actually not even not even that hard. And you just go nice and easy and if you feel something getting a bind you need to stop Oop, I cut her now Ugh. I'm pretty quick with the hand so you may want to put you something right there I don't really ever drop it but as you can see you just pressed it right out you pull that out and now she's ready so we have got to do this to all of them so pretty cut and dry and you see the little needle bearings you can inspect those they they are just they're just junk so but anyways i'll throw you throw this away and you keep your rocker part and we'll put that trunion kit inside here you're going to upgrade all this so let's get the rest of these done and you guys just follow along show you how to put these together you're going to need the two washers that they provided you you're going to need the two bearings and then the two little snap rings and you'll need your tool your little snap ring tool and what i suggest is is that you take your rocker and i just press in this is the way that i do it I just kind of get it halfway in line there. Just kind of stick it in. And make sure that you point the the name out. Because the other side doesn't have anything written and it's more beveled. So and you want that beveled edge, edge to go in. But what I do is I just get it up here. And I'll do all of them at one time. And what you do is you just just press her in. And, and this, you have to realize, you want it nice and snug, not too much. You're going to have to do a lot of filling with it. It's too much in a bind, you're going to hurt it. You don't want to do that. Now, almost forgot. Get your shaft. And see, I just press that in nice and easy. Just go ahead and put it in your center section. 
you're going to do the same thing here and what I do is you got to put the wash on the other side it has to take up the slack see how there's a little bit how it hangs out that washer takes up the slack and what you want to do is just bump it a little like that where it kind of gets started or you can do it till it stops don't do it real hard just barely do it then take your other washer and it has to finish pressing in that bearing so what you do is like i said this is the part that you got to kind of feel just hold it up there try to center it up the best you can and then you'll feel it see i felt it. it's in a bind so i back off a little move it in a bind move it in a bind move it still in a bind and what you do is you move that dude around until you perfectly got it and you will feel it give see i just felt it kind of go in don't don't do this too hard just a nice snug like that and then when you pull it out your washers ought to be flush on both sides okay and see you take them off and see how i did that and i did it all by feel and see it feels really good now in order to really lock this in you want to take your little snap rings and this is about how most of these kits are even from comp and i've used them all and what you do is you'll get your snap ring ready and you'll get it put on and you'll put one on each end and you also need a flathead screwdriver put this one on the other side the reason why you need a flathead screwdriver you need to double check yourself you need to push on it move it around push on it make sure it's in that groove okay just a little bit of extra security and then when you're done you're good to go so that's how easy it was to put the trending kit in remember the steps that i did uh is just an easier way of doing it the instructions actually tell you a different way to do it but you seen how fast i did that super fast so put your bearing up there words pointed out tighten it down boom then stick your center section in put one washer on one side put the other bearing on tighten it down a little to set it and then put this one over the top of that other bearing and remember this last part you need to get your hands in here and you need to feel it remember you need to sit here and you need to work that vise and see i know you can't see in the camera but i'm just barely moving that washer while i'm sitting here turning this and pressing and pressing until i feel a good smooth spot once I feel that, I'm like, all right, the washer's perfectly over, and then I'll crank it on up, and it'll tighten up. So, anyways, that's my little tip and tricks on that deal. Let's get the rest of these put on. Let's get this knocked out. guys what we got going on next here is uh i've got a set of uh uh trick flow chrome molly push rods i went with the stock length the stock length is going to be a 7.4 inch uh, they're going to be uh, a 0.080 in circumference and uh like i told you the uh the uh the uh trunion kit came with their own bolts here and uh these are gonna go through the rockers we're gonna put the rocker in and it's going to torque to 22 foot pounds so you see they're gonna go right here and you're gonna make sure that you put the the curved edge with the curved part right here and the flat edge will be pointing up okay for the head of your bolt to sit on so you'll put these on and you'll 
you'll torque these to 22 foot pounds. So we'll wind up putting these in, torquing them to 22 foot pounds. But before we do that, I'm going to lube up each end of these like so with some of our comp lube the way I do it. And I am going to stick them through into you'll feel the you'll feel the lifter okay and then also you'll put a little bit of grease on the end of each one of these with your assembly loops what i do so that's how i do it i don't care how anybody else does it that's just the way i do it so you'll lube these up you'll stick it in and then that's it and then you'll go to the next one and you'll lube it up and you'll stick it in okay then you'll grab another one lube up both ends and stick it in so on and so forth so once you guys get these in then you'll put this on make sure your tip everything's on there real nice and good well hang on before we put that on let's do exactly what i told you i'd do little air little air put a little bit of assembly lube i like plenty of assembly lube people think i'm crazy with it but it doesn't hurt anything so make sure you get it oriented right and then you'll stick your bolt in and you will torque this to 22 foot pounds but before you torque it what i would suggest you get all of these on there nice and easy and loose okay and then one at a time go down through there and torque them so uh because this could move on you so you want to make sure to get all of them started just get them all started before you torque them so and remember I went with a uh, stock length on my push rod. Now, if you've had your heads cut or something like that, you're going to have to go with a, uh, a custom set of push rods, and that's a whole nother, whole nother, uh, whole nother show. So I'll have to show you that later, at a different time. So, well, let me get to uh, let me get these push rods all lubed up. Let me get all these rockers installed with the bolts. Let me lube up all the tops of my valve springs, and then. Um, We'll get everything tightened to 22 foot-pounds of torque each, and uh, and uh, we'll get this thing taken care of, get it buttoned up. everything put in torque to 22 foot pounds got our training kit put in as you can see put plenty of assembly lube on all the little roller bearings inside of them and everything and uh what we're gonna do now well let's say roller band they're like a pin needle bearing but anyways uh what we're gonna do is is uh i'm gonna go ahead and put the valve covers on real quick and uh we're gonna call that for this episode so uh Thank you guys for checking us out here with uh, Palmer Power uh, Motorsports. Uh, thank you to Kevin Blumenthal there in Oklahoma City, um, Ampco Electric, Cheetah Race Engine Development, j h Tire, Pete's Machine Shop, and Summit Racing, and MMA and Max. Uh, thank you guys very much. Thank you to all the subscribers, and uh, we do appreciate you. So as this video goes out, and I will leave leave you guys to it, I'll be putting on the valve covers. I got some new aftermarket valve covers, and uh, you guys stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, the next one, uh, I don't know if we'll be doing the pulley system here on the front or if we're going to be putting the intake on, but one or the other, we're going to do it. And you guys just follow along like you have been. So thanks again, guys. God bless. Have a wonderful work week. Thank y'all.
I'm gonna go get some more. 